And we're back. We've done two inches of ribbing and we're going to start our stockinette section. We're going to start, if you've done your gauge swatch, you've already worked stockinette, which is one row of knit, one row of purl. Um, the difference with this though is that we're going to slip the first stitch of every row. That'll make it easier to seam it up at the end. It makes an extra large knit stitch at the beginning of every row. So I will show you how to do that. And in order to slip a stitch, you will start with your ribbing in your left hand on that needle, your empty needle in your right hand, as usual. You're going to insert your needle as if to knit. So again, from front to back, with your right hand needle stacked below the left hand needle. And instead of throwing your yarn around or in, tucking your yarn through, you're just going to um, slip that old stitch off. So you're not gonna work it, it's just gonna be slipped from left to right. Going from there, you're going to knit across. So you're going to work a regular knit stitch by going from front to back. You're gonna throw your yarn, you're going to pull it through and drop that stitch off. So now you've got a slip stitch, a knit stitch on your right hand needle. Now you've come to two purl stitches. And in order to work those, you're just gonna treat them like knit stitches. You're gonna go through from front to back like you did before. You're going to, ins you're gonna wrap your yarn around the needle, pull it through, and then slip that old stitch off. So now you've got a, knit, a slip stitch, a knit stitch, and then a knit stitch in a purl stitch. And we're gonna do that for the next stitch as well. So you're going to insert your right hand needle, you're gonna wrap your yarn through, and you're gonna pull it through. You're gonna slip that stitch off. You're gonna work the rest of the round knit all the way to the end, and I'll meet you at the last stitch and show you how to turn.